it's just the overemphasis. Like I'm perfectly fine with people writing political poems. Um, some of the best, some great poems can be written about it, but I think it's just the obsession. So not even the poetry itself, it's the people around poetry, the people that are writing the canon, the people that are putting out anthologies, the people that are publishing books. They're so preoccupied with the current kind of political trends that they're not seeing the full picture. And that's really where I have an issue with uh, the political side of things. Like people want to put it in their work, mm, fine. I mean, there's always, there's a strong history in this country and, and really all over the world of protest poems, uh, uh, putting in political things and all that. Yeah. But I think that, I mean, to get into the nitty gritty, I think that there's kind of an over, there is an overemphasis on kind of a Marxism or class analysis what I mean by that is not the actual ideology, but uh, those of you that have gone to college for this stuff or even just passing glance, they, there's an obsession with kind of theory, they call it literary theory, where you're putting frameworks on top of works of art. And that can be fun, that can be interesting, that can be enlightening. But when that's all we're doing, uh, it starts to really take away from everything else that art and, and literature can do. So that's really my only emphasis on the political but again, as soon as you do that, right, it's dangerous. Why is it dangerous, right? And that's the whole point I try to make is like, okay, how is this dangerous? Like, how is this like uh, an issue, you know? And I don't know why, but I mean, I think social media has something to do with it, but yeah.